All right, hey guys, testing some canned gas. We've got uh, steel, Husqvarna, VP, and True Fuel. And they're all 50 to 1. And we've got four new Meteor piston and cylinders for each one. We're going to cut a couple gallons with each uh, new cylinder and then we'll swap. Um, so it's a 661 Auto Tune. Uh, it's just. The only, the only thing it's going to have is the dual port muffler, so it's basically stock. And then we've got 404 skip tooth, 32 inch light bar. Well, we're on tank three right now. The truck full, pile going. I got about five tanks at uh, Scott's, aka Tree Monkey, and uh, I'm here at my buddy's doing some more cutting uh, on tank. This is the uh, start of tank seven, so it's gonna. So it runs pretty good on it. Here's our piston wash. Spark plug, a bit reddish or light brown. Pretty clean inside. Better than expected. Interesting. All right, just started using the uh, Husky can gas. Run that for a little bit. been cutting with the uh, husky can gas and just about done with the second jug here seems to run pretty good doesn't smell as bad as steel so I like that again this personal preference but here is the husky can gas
As you can see, it runs good, just as good as steel. I, I think it's the uh, definitely the quality of gas. It's so pure, so that helps out. But uh, we'll finish up the uh, can here, and we'll do a takedown. All right, there's the uh, Husky can gas. Definitely less oil down in the crankcase. Wash pattern is lighter on the top of the piston. I don't really see any oil down there. It's not necessarily dry, but there's the inside. And we'll we'll check all these out at the end. The main thing I want to do is look at the crankcase after each time because that's going to change. The cylinders we'll have all at the end. But, alright, back to cutting. Alright, making our way through the pile with the VP now. And here it is running. Making our way just about out of VP. Take her down. All right, here's the VP cylinder. More build up in the dome and squish band. We'll look at that later. Right now, let's look down in the bottom end. A little bit more oil than husky. Pretty good. Wash pattern's pretty nice on the top of the piston. next one on and that is true fuel all right guys working on last tank of the uh, true fuel 50 to 1 cutting another pile there's a big pile over there when I started this whole project and the uh, woodshed was completely empty when we started this that's about full but uh, yeah this true fuel 51 I almost want to say that this is my favorite. The saw just seems a little bit more responsive with it. Uh, I, I don't know. That, that's. I don't see how it could be, but that's that's my sense.
we'll do the take down here when I finish this tank. All right, there's down on the crankcase with the True Fuel 51. Good oil. Let's see, a little bit less going off memory than the VP, but more than the Husqvarna, and I don't remember the steel. So we'll put that off to the side. All right, guys, uh, finally done. Got all of our cylinders laid out here, pistons, and look at the, the uh, top of each piston here. So true fuel. VP. Again, we ran 32 inch bar the whole time. A couple of new 404 chains for each uh, each type of gas. Trying to wave this around here. This is true fuel in the combustion chamber squish band. And there's the VP. Husky. And the steel. And Scott and I are both surprised that the steel is, in fact, the cleanest. Husky. All right, looking at the exhaust ports, the true fuel. That's the exhaust side of the piston. There's the exhaust port on the VP. And the Husky. Steel. And again, the steel is the cleanest. Alright. Different angle here and different side of the exhaust port. True fuel. And a different perspective on each piston. That's the VP Husky. Steel, Husky, VP, True Fuel. And once again, the steel is surprising. And another look inside each one. Turn the cylinder around, so a little bit different perspective. That's true fuel. Looking at it from the intake, it's closest to the bottom of the camera picture. That is true arrow. Uh, sorry, VP. And Husky. Steel on the end here. There it goes. Tell me what you think. And one more note. Measured the uh, four cylinder true fuel. And again, very close on all the numbers. True fill. BP. There's no buildup in the ring grooves and there there. any of them. No, I mean they're really one tapter, two gallons, but 
the uh, that's husky build up in the combustion chamber is definitely steel is surprising yeah yeah but it, it shocks me because all of the years that I've you know dealt with working on saws and modifying saws and fixing saws with all kinds of brands and everything um, the, the steel uh, white bottle or whatever you want to call it so, kind of coil. Yeah, silver ultra or whatever right um, it has shown to be some of the worst looking oil as far as carbon goes so it must it just must not maybe it doesn't interact well with the impurities and the gas and, and well it has to be something to do with the gas itself um, where pump gas has a lot of other additives into it where uh, the oil is not working so well with the pump gas, but it works well with this, um, you know, high-grade gas. Right. That that's what I see going on here. Um, so I guess if you're just going to use canned fuel, I mean, the steel is. That's definitely the cleanest as far as canned fuel goes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that was twenty-nine ninety-five. This was like. Sixteen ninety five. I had to order this from Napa. It was like twenty four ninety five, and then that was like seventeen ninety five. The true fuel. But <clears throat> and of course you get you get a little bit more with the steel. You get a hundred. It's a true actual gallon, whereas so one hundred twenty eight ounces, where the rest of these are all one hundred ten. And the octane. <laughs> do you really? Think, I mean. There's no way that the octane makes that big of a it's difference. Not, no, no, not they're, a, not they're, a, they're all ethanol free, and I mean, there, there's no need to have a high octane fuel in a chainsaw. Right. It, it, a stock chainsaw is only like seven to one compression rate. You, you, I I cannot imagine how hot, how hard you would have to work a saw to ever get it to detonate. Right. Even a even a like a eighty. Seven octane fuel. So, you know, um, so I, I don't, I don't see any big advantages of the octane. Yeah. Um, but the, maybe over time for degra degradation, I mean, you're going to lose some octane the longer it sits, I would think. So. But it's not octane that makes the gas burn. Right. Octane makes the gas burn slower. Well, it's the re resistance to detonation. Right. Yeah. Alrighty, well, out of the four, I don't, I don't know. I, I mean, the the Husky had the least, the Husky is the cheapest, but it had the least in the in the bottom, the bottom end. So that's... that that's the amount of oil. Yeah, that for me is concerning. The VP... I don't know. Then the, the well, the steel, the steel smells. <laughs> but <laughs> personal opinion. Um, but that sure is that sure is the cleanest. It's also the probable. Well, ounce for ounce, it's going to be close to that twenty four ninety five. I mean, if that was one hundred ten ounce jug like the VP, they'd both be right around twenty five bucks. Um, well, at least at Napa, but I think this was twenty nine ninety five and uh, one hundred twenty eight ounces. Um, the True Fuel, yeah, so that was eighteen ninety five or seventeen ninety five, something like that. But <clears throat> and, and burning wise, the uh, smell wise, the VP and the uh, the True Fuel smell pretty close. Um, yeah, again, <laughs> I mean, if it, that, that, well, that is, that is something to be concerned with because some, some people, they just, they get sick from, from the oil or, or fuel. Yeah. yeah. Some, some guys just yeah. can't stand the, the, a specific oil. They just, yeah. they can't deal with it at all. So especially in winter, uh, in deep snow. Right. You know, and you're shoveling down into a two feet of snow to get down into the tree, and you're down in that hole yeah. with that saw, and it's yeah. right in your face. Yeah. It, 
it does make a difference, you know. So that's something to take. I mean, as funny as it sounds, that is something to consider. Um, well, next up, we're uh, putting in a new cylinder on. So it says TF40. So that's True Fuel 40. So that'll be the next video. So it'll be com comparing this cylinder 50 to 1, and we'll run 41. See what see what the difference looks like.